Hello, welcome to How to Play Wild Twist Osmosis, a game for one player. Now, if you'll remember, I talked about going to Target and finding this interesting card deck by Uno. It's a 60-card deck with eight different jokers in it. And so we're going to test out Osmosis using this deck. We're going to leave each of the eight jokers in there and just play them anywhere we want or can. Mainly, we'll probably play them right at the top just to see. This should be so easy that not much will change as far as uh, winning the game or not. At least that's what I thought. So let's find out if we can win the game easier doing it this way. So like always, we're dealing out four cards face up uh, into four different piles. And then the fifth card is going to be our base. Every card below that has to be a queen in a different suit. We can't place any other cards down until the top suit, the diamond suit, has that card, that matching rank. Uh, in it and it's only for the suit directly above so let's say we have diamonds and queen of spades then queen of clubs and then say we got a seven of diamonds we can't put a seven of clubs in the third row because the spades does not have its seven yet so basically any diamond we're just going to go ahead and put in there and if we see a queen we'll go ahead and put it in so if we do see the queen of spades now we can place it in if we see the two of spades we can place it in the only thing that needs to be in the original order is the queens everything else uh, you can do and it's three cards out of, at a time from the stock and the game ends on two conditions one is you can go through the stock twice and not have a legal play and so we're gonna place that wild there that can account for either one of those cards we don't have to say what it is yet uh, we just keep going with it and so basically yeah if you go through the stock twice without making a play your game's over it's ended you can play game uh, cards from the uh, four foundational piles over there the four piles to the left not sure what the nomenclature is on it osmosis is somewhat of a different solitaire than usual uh and so that that's what we're pretty much doing we're pretty much just playing osmosis it's a game uh riffle shuffle and roll taught me uh saw it on their channel and it's one of those games i remember the setup being so easy that anytime i'm somewhere where i want to uh just make the weight go by a lot faster I pull out my deck of cards and I start playing Osmosis. It's my go-to solitaire. So we just now opened up the Queen of Hearts and saw that four of hearts uh, on the one of the four foundational piles, or whatever they're called. And so we can play those jokers anywhere now. That's going to give us uh, room to put any of those cards directly above as long as we account for them in our mind. So we could play that seven right there and we can play that nine. We're looking to see what else we can play. Now we can play that seven of clubs. And we could play that six of clubs. Why we haven't yet, I don't know. Maybe I count it be something else. Who knows? We have a wild heart, but we only have three clubs. So we have to hold off on that until we have the ability to play it. We do have the three of diamonds up there. Uh, well, in the wilds we do. We have the ace. We have the eight. And so now we can play that three of clubs. And so I'll play that black wild there. That allowed me to play that six of clubs. I got that two of spades. That allowed me to play the two of clubs, the three of diamonds looking good. We have a wild, so we'll play those two wilds. Uh, we got the diamond wild, which we have to play the diamond suit. So now we'll just keep going. Um, and just playing with these extremely loose rules, we're going to see if maybe we can win this game. I mean, I'm thinking it should be pretty easy at this point to win this game, but... I'm not sure if it's going to be possible. And so we're continuously moving cards. Do we have the cards that we need to move? We have a jack. We have the nine of hearts. So the nine will go. The ten will go. That eight will go. And now once we're done with the uh, card deck, we'll put it back in our hand, turn it over, and start all over again. Three cards at a time, as we have been doing. Okay, so we're starting to look really good. Maybe maybe this is going to be a lot easier of a game. And I say that, and that's the end of the stock, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. I managed to go through twice. I have the jacks. I don't have the jacks of, spade, or of diamonds at the very top. The game was locked up because of the order of those last three cards. We managed to lose it. So if you want to play this card game in public with uh, people... That you don't know basically strangers come to our subreddit card game meetups do click under the show more in the description and you'll find a link to a discord channel where we talk about solitaires 
one where we talk about uh, card games themselves, and it's a lot of fun. If you're a musician and you have some instrumental music, do share a link in the comments if you want us to use it. And do like, subscribe, and share these videos with other people who are interested in card games. And I want to thank today's musician, My Sheet Music uh, Transcriptions, for their cover of Bear Necessities, which is pretty much a game like Osmosis. All you really need is a deck of cards. And apparently it can work with any cards, uh, especially the Wild Twist deck from Uno. And probably you could have some more modifications on the rules if you like. I was just testing out to see if it worked, and surprisingly I managed to lose at it. So it can still work even with a deck such as the, uh, the Uno Wild Twist deck. So do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.